when we last spoke i i said i didn't think the guys were switched on uh, for the tri series they looked a little jaded and come the big tournament the, the biggest tournament world cup uh, they they brought the a game to the table and that's exactly what ravi has also said that they needed the break they were uh, in that interview that he's given he said we're going through the motions uh, you know when you're going through the motions it means that you're not really in the game physically or mentally and you know sometimes physically if you're not in the game that's fine but mentally if you're not in the game uh there's no there's no chance of you really winning the game but uh come at the big tournament come at the team and you know i i think you know like ravi said these guys are switched on they know this is the biggest tournament of all the biggest prize in world cricket and uh, we're seeing virat mahendra singh dhoni shikhar dhawan all of them the bowlers bring the a game to the table over here well look you know in terms of the draw uh, by you're playing the big teams up front or the so called we it doesn't really make a difference because the end game is to honestly qualify for the quarter finals uh, you look at england they've started off disastrously but i still think they'll make it to the quarter finals because that's how uh, this world cup is you know you've got uh, four teams qualifying from each each group and unless you have a really uh, abysmal world cup there's no reason why the big team should not qualify for the quarter finals it's about what momentum you take into the quarter finals if you get into the quarter finals on the back of winning games you've got that momentum with you which is always always good uh so look i, I in terms of uh, whether you play south africa up front or pakistan up front or uae up front it doesn't really matter as long as you qualify for the quarter finals and when you're in the quarter finals uh, you're switched on uh, you've got uh, confidence behind you you've got momentum behind you and you take that uh, into the knockout stages because that's where there are no comebacks that's where you can't make mistakes because one mistake one bad day uh, and you're you're out of the tournament so uh, the end game at as things stand the first goal is to get to the quarter finals absolutely no no and you've got to do that look you know uh, this is they forget this being a long tournament they've been in australia for a hell of a long time uh, and you know there's nothing that one extra net session is really going to do for you Uh, unless you're woefully out of form and you want to correct some uh, something specific you know you want to practice the pull shot then you go in and you know you you play about a 50 75 balls off the pull shot you want to practice the cover drive uh, you play 50 75 cover drives if you're a bowler you want to practice bowling the bouncer you practice that you want to practice bowling the yorker you practice that but other than that unless you want to practice something specific another net session is not really going to change your game overnight and you know make you a world champion or or make you the worst player on the planet so look sometimes you need that you need that break just to mentally recover recoup and be fresh for the next game and 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 talking about innovative practice sessions that's that's what you need you know at times practice can can be a drudgery it can get monotonous you want something different no kids day uh, fantastic you know you're not going to bat you know you're not going to bowl why why drag your kit uh, all along to the ground you know just carry your spikes your fielding shoes uh your you know your hat your sunglasses and you're good to go so look uh, these innovative fielding drills innovative net sessions uh, they keep uh, they keep it interesting they keep it fun they make it fun they keep it uh, uh, but believe you me it's not light hearted no one takes this uh, anything but seriously they know how important it is it's just another fun way of doing something that you want to do uh, and do it with with all your heart huge uh, never underplay momentum i mean uh you need momentum going into the knockout stages as a team uh in the league phases if you talk about an individual shikhar dhawan got momentum in the first game he got that forward in the second game where he got 100 uh we saw virat kohli get a 100 in the first game but it seemed like he was batting in second gear that's how easy it was for him uh so look you know in terms of the bowlers you know mohit sharma ashwin picked up wicket shami he picked up wickets in the first game and the second game they'll they'll be a confident bunch now you know a much maligned bunch before the world cup started as you know bowling is the weak link but after the the performance of the first two games there'll be a much uh, more confident lot uh, thinking you know what bring on the next team and we'll show the world what we can do well you know i've spoken to a lot of lot of players uh, who played under ravi amol muzumdar sanjay manjeka was telling me about ravi diaz that as a motivator as a team man uh, you know he's right up there he'll motivate you he'll he'll be behind you he'll back you and i think that's exactly what he's done he's got the guys uh, to know that he's there for them uh, the fact that you know he played 80 test matches for india he's uh, you know was champion of champions in australia in that benson and hedges tournament so that was a tournament just played in australia so you know they know that he's got uh, uh, the know how of australian grounds australian pitches how to 
not only play there but perform really really well so they they look up to him they you know they they look up to him and say this is you know here's someone who we can bounce ideas off plus what he brings to the table and which he's always brought to the indian team and the mumbai team is to be bull headed you know to have uh, that khadusness that is mumbai cricketers call and not to give an inch not to ask for an inch but when you're out there on the field uh, till the last ball is bowled you know no game is won or lost so you have that attitude in you i think that's what he's brought to the table